Hello and welcome today we will be talking about what is an HC-05 Bluetooth module and how to control an LED from a Bluetooth app. The HC-05 is a Bluetooth module that can be used to create wireless connections between two devices. It is a popular choice for Arduino projects because it is easy to use and has a wide range of features. The HC-05 has six pins, each of which has a specific function. The most important pins are the TXD and RXD pins, which are used to transmit and receive data. The HC-05 also has a mode pin, which can be used to switch the module between a command mode and data mode. At command mode is used to configure the module settings. In this mode, you can change the module's baud rate, name, and password. Data mode is used to send and receive data between the module and another device. The HC-05 can be used with a variety of devices, including Arduino, smartphones, and laptops. It is a versatile and powerful tool that can be used for a variety of projects. Here are some of the things you can do with an HC-05 Bluetooth module. Control a device from your phone, send and receive data between two devices, create a wireless network, build a remote control, and monitor data from a sensor. For this connection, you will need to connect RxD to TX. TXD to RX, GND to GND, VCC to 5V. The LED is connected to digital pin 13 with a 220 ohm resistor. This Arduino code sets up a simple serial communication system where you can send commands from a computer to control an LED connected to pin 13 on the Arduino. Here's an explanation of the code. Char incoming underscore value equals zero. This line declares a character variable named incoming underscore value and initializes it with the value zero. This variable will store the incoming command sent over the serial connection. Void setup, this is the setup function, which runs once when the Arduino is powered on or reset. It is used to initialize the board and set up any necessary configurations. Serial. Begin, 9600, this line initializes the serial communication at a baud rate of 9600. This is the speed at which data is transmitted between the Arduino and a connected computer. You should use the same baud rate in your serial terminal or software. Pin mode, 13, output, this line sets pin 13 as an output. Pin 13 is typically connected to an onboard LED on many Arduino boards, so setting it as an output means you can control this LED. Void loop, this is the loop function, which runs repeatedly after the setup function. It controls the behavior of the Arduino board based on user inputs or other conditions. Inside the loop. If, serial. Available, zero, this line checks if there is data available in the serial input buffer. If data has been sent from the computer, or another device, to the Arduino over the serial connection, this condition will be true. Incoming underscore value equals serial. Read. If data is available, this line reads a single character from the serial input buffer and stores it in the incoming underscore value variable. This character represents the command sent from the computer. Serial. Print, incoming underscore value, this line prints the received character back to the serial monitor for debugging or verification purposes. Serial. Print, backslash n, this line prints a new line character, backslash n, to the serial monitor, creating a new line after printing the received character. If, incoming underscore value equals equals 1, this line checks if the received character is 1. If it is, it means that you want to turn the LED on. Digital write, 13, high, if 1 is received, this line sets pin 13, usually connected to the onboard LED, to high, which turns the LED on. Else if, incoming underscore value equals equals 0, this line checks if the received character is zero. If it is, it means that you want to turn the LED off. Digital write, 13, low, if zero is received, this line sets pin 13 to low, which turns the LED off. Once you have uploaded the code to the Arduino, we will need to make the app to control the LED from our phone. We will be using the MIT App Inventor. When you start a new project, the first thing you will need is a list picker. Once you select the list picker just drag and drop it into the phone display. You can change the size and name of the list picker in the properties list on the side of the screen. The next component we will need is a horizontal arrangement, change the size of the arrangement to fill the screen. Now we will add two buttons.
after editing the layout to have the desired look. We can now add the Bluetooth component. Go to Connectivity and drag and drop Bluetooth Client into the app. Now we will need to write the logic so that the app will behave the way we want it to. Click on Blocks on the top right. And copy the block code on the screen. Once you have copied that you can now download it as an app for your phone. Here we can see the circuit and the app that we have made. If I press the on button you will see the LED turn on. And if I press the off button the LED will turn off. Thanks for watching.